on the Western Galilee Mountains, between Meilia and Tarshicha, near Meona, there's a strange concrete surface, 5,000 square meters in size. Is this an alien's landing spot? Well, this is a water catchment surface, part of a magnificent water supply system for the nearby Tarshicha police station, built by the British Mandate for Palestine in the land of Israel in 1940. My first visit to the site was just before the rainy season. Although it was built as a functional facility, attention to aesthetics was not forgotten. And what about the water level? There was a decent amount even after the long dry season. Curious to see if and how it really works, I returned on a rainy winter day, 81 years after it was built. The surface is covered with concrete slabs, forming seven levels. Each slab is slightly concave, creating a mild channel towards the drainage canals. Since the stairs' edges are in 45 degrees relative to the edges of the catchment area, and the slope is quite mild, standing there you get a feeling of a triangular rather than a square area. As the rain intensifies, the flow immediately increases. Two side canals merge with the central canal at the bottom tip. The water flows into a detritus pit, so dirt can sink and stay outside the water cistern. Of course it needs maintenance, which is absent now, so the pit seemed a bit clogged. I found this plastic pipe and tried to do something. I could hear the sound of water filling the cistern, and it seems that the water level in the pit has receded. Then it was time to check the water level in the cistern. Almost completely full. Now, I want to show you some amazing archive material, which will shed some light about the planning and construction of this facility. During the years 1940 and 1941, the British Mandate for Palestine initiated the police building program, constructing dozens of fortified police buildings across the country. Among them was the one at Tarshicha in the Western Galilee. Reliable water supply for these stations was essential, and the British were concerned that they cannot count on nearby wells and cisterns as a water source. On May 1940, they considered hauling water from distant springs, pumping from nearby wadi, or using a catchment area on the site. They chose the third option. They did a meticulous calculation, according to which they needed 1825 cubic meters of water per year for the station. They knew that the average rainfall in the area was 744 millimeters, assumed 500 as a minimum, considered only 75% for the runoff, and came up with 375 millimeters of useful rain. Dividing the volume needed by the rain height, they got the catchment area required, 5,000 square meters. They searched for a proper spot, with a good slope. Here is the result. Well, now with the north up. You can see Tarshicha village, the designated location for the police station building, and the suggested spot for the catchment area, around 900 meters apart. They drew a section of the points and went to survey the area. Construction started in June 1940. Here are the workers leveling the slope for the catchment area. What you see here is soling, arranging rubble stones for a stable and strong sub-base to the foundation, before the concrete elements. Here you can already see the side canals. And again, after the concrete slabs were placed. This is the roof of the cistern being built. And here is the view to the east. 
see how it looks 81 years later. What you see in the distance is mainly the town of Malot. Construction was probably completed in October 1940, just as the rainy season was about to start. The project proved successful. By February and the first rainy season, water level at the cistern reached 4.35 meters. July 15, 1941, marked the official handing over of the water catchment and cistern facility. The Tarshicha water supply system was monitored carefully, and data about the draw-off and inflow from and into the cistern was routinely recorded. The catchment facility provided more water than needed for the station, so surplus water could be used by Tarshicha residents. Here is a British map with the water catchment marked, as well as the police post that became a police station. The catchment area is about 70.5 by 70.5 meters, creating a 5,000 square meters area. The cistern size is about 16 by 16 meters, a maximum height of 6.3 meters, allowing a capacity of 1,250 cubic meters. This simple yet carefully planned solution provided water for several years, even after the British mandate was over, and can still be used today. This is a true marvel of engineering, as well as aesthetics, a lovely spot on the mountain, and a unique heritage site.